Here is your host, Michael Rivero. And Aloha America, welcome back to our show. And boy, there are times I, I hate being right all the time. I really do. I love that line in the movie Jurassic Park when the T-Rex, you know, breaks out of the paddock and Malcolm says, gee, I hate being right all the time because he predicted it. Remember I was telling you that if they, they cannot smear Ron Paul and defeat him honestly at Iowa, they will try and steal it? Okay? We are just now getting word that the Iowa GOP leadership has decided because of the potential of disruption at next week's caucuses the GOP is going to move the vote tabulation to a secret undisclosed location the caucuses are supposed to be counted right there where everybody can witness it oh no 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 we have we have an email that's saying bad people are coming to disrupt the caucuses it's probably the GOP leadership kid posted them so they gin up this whole thing about, oh, there are going to be disruptions, so we have to move the tabulation to a secret, undisclosed location. That's not the way the system is supposed to work. There are no secret votes in a republic, in a democracy. There are secret votes only in dictatorships. They're getting ready to steal Iowa from Ron Paul. That's the only explanation here. He is so far ahead in the polls. CNN has him over 50%. He has more support than all the other GOP candidates combined. But Israel does not want Ron Paul in the running. The Federal Reserve does not want Ron Paul in the running. These are soulless people with no conscience and no sense of civil responsibility. They're going to steal it from him. So if they have their little secret tabulation location... And there's a surprise come from behind victory for Newt Gingrich. We're all going to know what happened. It was another vote theft. And at that point, with the election system is that badly compromised, I think Claire Wolf is right. It's time to start shooting the bastards. Because nothing else is going to work. Because they're not only stealing the election from Ron Paul, they're stealing the right of the people to choose our own government. That's what they're really stealing. All of this election stuff, it's a theater exercise. We're going to let you think that you have a choice as long as you vote for the people we approve of. And then you'll quietly go back to your slavery and cranking out more soldiers for us to use in our wars in the belief that somehow this is something you all wanted because you voted for the leaders. But now we know we're not. This idea that they're going to move the Iowa caucus vote tabulation to a secret undisclosed location where there are no witnesses is proof they're going to steal it from Ron Paul. They're desperate to keep him out of there. We have been seeing the media just coming up with all this nonsensical stuff about him. You know, 20-year-old uh, newsletters, disgruntled former employees who were probably agent provocateurs. They can't stand him. He refuses to go along with the suck up to Israel, suck up to the war machine, and protect Wall Street at the expense of the American people. They don't want him in there, and they're going to steal it. And we all need to decide what we're going to do when they do. When they steal it, what will you do? Will you just sit down and say, oh, well, I just guess that's the way it's going to be? Because if you do, then that's basically the end of the United States of America. If you're not willing to stand up and defend your right to vote for the candidate that you want, then this nation is lost. So I just put this story up at whatreallyhappened.com. Iowa GOP moving vote count to undisclosed location. I want you to grab that article, copy it, send it everywhere, post it everywhere, and post it with the comment. They're doing this to steal the Iowa caucuses from Ron Paul. We're not supposed to have secret vote counts. It's un-American. It's Nazi. It's fascist. It's Soviet. It's not America. They've made it very obvious. They are not going to allow the American people to choose their own candidates. And that, too, is not America. I'm angry. And if you're not, what the heck is wrong with you? This is an attack at the very heart of what this country is supposed to be. Democracy. We, the people, choose the government. Not Israel. Not Bernie Madoff. 
not George Soros, we the people. And what the GOP leadership in Iowa have just said is, no, you don't get to choose. We don't like the guy that you like. We're going to make sure that he doesn't get to the ballot. Long before you ever get to a polling place, we will make sure that the people we want are the only ones you can pick from. That's how the election systems got hijacked in this country. I need to get this over to, to Bev Harris at blackboxvoting.org. And she needs to be aware of this. Because, and, and that's the only interpretation. The GOP is going to steal Iowa from Ron Paul. They want him out of the race as quickly as possible. They don't dare let him stay in the race any longer. They're going to get rid of him in Iowa and New Hampshire. They will steal it from him. If they can't steal it from him, they will shoot at him. I'm telling you that right now. These people are desperate. Politicians, presidents who stand up to the bankers get shot at. Andrew Jackson, Abraham Lincoln, John F. Kennedy. These money junkies are making trillions of dollars off of your labor. They're not going to let that go without a fight. And it's time to realize that it's going to take a fight to get those money junkies pried loose from your, from your blood veins. So go to the website, grab that story, Iowa GOP moving vote count to undisclosed location, and you send it to everybody. You send it to everybody you know who's a Ron Paul supporter. You make a stink about this. This is not how elections are supposed to be run in the United States of America. If they steal it from Ron Paul, at that point, there is no possibility of saving this country. It's time to just start burning it all down. Because better no government than a government of the money junkies, by the money junkies, and for the money junkies. It's like I keep joking all these years. I've been studying the Republicans and the Democrats for a lot of years, and anarchy's looking attractive right now. I'm furious. I'm angry. I hope you are, too. I hope you're as angry as I am. Now, up in Montana, as an expression of their anger over this whole National Defense Authorization Act and the provisions in there for indefinite detention, the Montanans have launched a recall of their senators who voted for this abomination. Senators Max Baucus and Jonathan Tester. The Montana voters are going to kick them out of office. They're going to fire them. And that's what we should all be doing, firing every member of this government who does not represent the American people, which sadly is most of them, so we got our work cut out for us. We're going to go to the phones. Clinton, Las Vegas, Aloha. Clint, welcome to the show. What's on your mind? Yeah, Mike, uh, I just got a little steam coming out of my ear, which is kind of good on a cool night like tonight. But, however, uh, uh, what you just told me about Ron Paul moving... Because there's a lot of people out there who are really sensing that, you know, we, we have to get Ron Paul in there in this country. He's the so, only chance to and, save this uh, country. You know, if yeah. we don't get Ron and, Paul in the uh, White House, then it's all over. It's time to have the revolution. Did you, uh, uh, are, are you uh, also with this uh, article you want me to pass around, uh, do you have any phone numbers on there? Um, I do not, but if anybody this, has, names. Uh, you know, uh, I don't think the Iowa GOP leadership is going to care how many people call them. They've been given their orders to get rid of Ron Paul. We just need to get this out to the public so there's a hue and cry calling the media, calling everybody. And basically the message we want to send is, if Ron Paul loses Iowa, we know it was stolen from him. It's time to start shooting the bastards. We'll be right back.